Hello, shit lords and shit ladies. As usual, I am late to the party. Everyone has already made response to Anus E's masterpiece of shit. So instead of taking it apart bit by bit, I'm going to focus on one aspect of his steamy offering, namely his sources, which are as misleading as promises of free candy from a windowless van. Now I am not sure if Anus actually believes the things he says, or if he is just being 3 edgy 5 me. But this is kind of irrelevant. I'll focus on the statements he made and the sources he used to support them, as if all of it was legit. And pedophiles, like the LGBT community, seem to exist in very significant numbers in society. Hold it right there. Where do these numbers come from? Oh yes, this article. Now, when a source says that a quarter of men are wannabe kitty diddlers, this should raise an eyebrow. But our hero, probably under the influence of confirmation bias, ate it all up. Let's see if we can spot a problem. Sample size of 80 and the people were volunteers. This study, and I use this term loosely, likely suffers from sampling bias. That is, the sample isn't representative of the general population. The article even admits that. Racial makeup of the sample wasn't representative of the general US population. Plus, the subjects were all volunteers who responded to newspaper ads. Therefore, this study likely suffers from the self-selection bias as well. In other words, into the trash it goes. There are even stories in the US where adults apply electroshock therapy to boys as young as 12 who think that they have a sexual attraction to children. Like, what the fuck? Let's take a closer look at this picture. It comes from Tumblr, so already we are on shaky ground. But it only gets worse from there. The caption is deliberately misleading. It might seem to say that men and boys in 1990s and 2000s were subjected to electroshock conversion therapy. However, the device on the right is actually a penile plethysmograph, or as I call it, bonometer. It measures how hard your Anthony Weiner is. It might cause slight discomfort, but it's not a torture device ANC portrays it to be. See what I did there? I used uh, skepticism. The rest of his ramblings were pretty much opinion with no factual support of any kind, so they are of no interest to me. Others have done a good job at dismantling them, and I've had enough of his degeneracy. See you next time. Guess how many kids I could fit in these pants? Have you had the meatballs there? Yeah. Yes, I like my subs like I like my women. I like them six and twelve. Yeah. Got my mind on your body and your body's only nine. Add some chips and a drink for just a dollar ninety-nine. Go get your brother. I got a boner. Would you like that toasted? I'm the full long lover. Five. Five dollars. Five.